This is the TP-Link Jetstream 10 port gigabit smart switch with eight port PoE plus and also includes two gigabit SFP slots. This smart switch comes loaded with many layer two features. These features include static routing, link aggregation, port isolation, and IGMP snooping. This switch includes seven security strategies, centralized management, utilizing the Omada platform, and even allows for standalone management. This may be the best switch I've ever seen at this price point with this many features. Hey, what's up, Mike? This is Guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to install a 10 port gigabit switch from TP Link. And we're going to install it right here into this panel. So, first things first, we got to make room in this panel for this switch. And, guys, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications for more videos like this. Let's get started. All right. As you can see, I cleared out the backup power here. I moved some things around. And my plan, if you can see it here, is we're just going to go ahead and mount it right here. Perfectly fits. I'm gonna zip tie it with uh, show you some zip ties I got here. These zip ties, like I've done here, I'm gonna zip tie it right here. And guys, if you want to help support our channel, visit our Patreon page, where two dollars a month helps keep this channel going. And all of our Patreon supporters get a personal thank you at the end of every video. We truly appreciate your support. So, which do you prefer, zip ties or Velcro straps? I prefer zip ties. Leave your answer in the comments. And here we go, we're all installed. We used every port. So this is our internet going into the switch. And the rest of these go to other various rooms. Bedroom, game room, my son's room, the office, the ring, elite doorbell, and our Wi-Fi 6E wireless access point. So at this point, we have two different options. We can either manage the switch or just leave it alone. We choose to manage. And there are several different ways you can manage the switch. The first option and easiest option is standalone mode. The first thing you want to do is find the switch's IP address. Use your router's local network map. And here is our IP address. Now type that IP address into your internet browser. The default username and password is admin. And you want to change that immediately. And from here, we can manage the switch, we can manage all the ports, change the names, change the QoS, enable, disable, and much, much more. Option number two is downloading the Omada desktop controller, which allows us to manage this switch and any other TP-Link Omada device, like VPN routers and wireless access points. Just follow the setup wizard. You'll need to set up the admin name, email, and password. And you also have to set up a TP-Link ID and password, which you can use to log into Cloud Access. And don't worry, we'll explain the Omada Cloud Access in option number three. So once you configure all your options in the setup wizard, you can now log into the Omada dashboard via the software controller on your desktop. It's always recommended to update your software if there's one available. Now we can see our dashboard and our new switch is not showing up yet. It's still pending which means we need to connect it. Once we connect our switch, we can now manage it just like we did in standalone mode. Okay, option number three is our cloud access. So in dashboard, go to cloud access and click enable. We need to log in and bind our TP-Link ID and password. If you haven't done so already, download the Amada app from the Play Store or iTunes. Install it and then sign in. And here are some of the features you can access on your phone. It's pretty comprehensive. And of course, you can add more TP-Link products as your network grows, like VPN routers and wireless access points. And the last option is to purchase the TP-Link hardware controller, either the OC200 or the OC300. If you decide on this option, I'll have links right here to videos that show that setup process. So make sure to check them out, they're very thorough. I'd have to say, of all the switches I've owned over the years, and I've owned a lot, this TP-Link switch is my favorite. It's the perfect size, and I love the addition of the two fiber ports. And to be honest, setup was a breeze, whether it's standalone, desktop management, or cloud management. And we'll have links to all these Omada products down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. You're amazing. Peace.